Hey, okay. I see y'all. Fabi JF, you know what it is. Breezy JJ's Money Penny 212. What's going on? I'm going to start pinning while we wait for Shang and everybody else to join in the fam. <laughs> I see the dedicated ones always here early. We appreciate that. Prime Minister of Chase, welcome. Welcome for show. Uh, what do I want to pin here? Follow. Savage AF Podcast. On, you know what I'm talking about, on YouTube, guys. Isn't that on it yet? Know that you can catch up on the show on YouTube. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Sorry, pin that. We're going to bring Shane in. Might as well. The brother's here. You know what I'm saying? Where you at? SRNC, what's going on? AJ Fit365, what's up, big Shane? Damn. Hold on, I left my uh, headphones right on. You, you All right. All right, Savage AF brought to you by the world famous Lab Factory. We're about to get it going on. We want you to make sure that you subscribe to the podcast version of the show, Savage AF Podcast, on. YouTube, just go to YouTube and put Savage AF Podcast and bam, 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 done deal. You are in. All right. You are subscribed and you can watch some of the past shows you might have missed. Just, you know, even if you watch a little bit, watch a little bit here, 10, 10, 15 minutes or 10 minutes or five minutes. Boom. And that's it. Savage AF. Also, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. The YouTube channel is not the YouTube, I'm sorry, the, the podcast version of the show, which is on iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, iHeart, Spotify, and SoundCloud. This is what I mean. That's what I'm talking about. Also, you can go right, to so. www.iamshang.com forward slash merch. And, and new merch. We got new merch. T-shirts, masks, and... Rum, ba, ba, bum. And this is, of course, all because, because we got the, the mouse pads. Now, don't be average, be savage, all right? You know what it is. Um, and that's all thanks to Eves underscore Apple 7916, always here with us, right here on IG Live, Monday through Friday. Mondays and Fridays, we're on 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Tuesday through Thursday, 6 p.m. Same damn standard time, Pacific. The same um, damn, <laughs> the same damn time, same damn channel. Yeah, and ain't really a channel, not yet. We, but yeah. we will be, and yeah. we're gonna talk about some of the shit going on. But you're gonna get the uh, the daily run up, run up, hey homie, running up on you. Da, da, hey. da, da. Speak, All right, let me back. Up. Speaking of run up, I just wanted to show up with a couple of things. Uh, I, I got I got a skirt for Dirty Gert. So uh, here she is, you know, fully unloaded. Nothing in there, right? Um, but uh, Gertrude here, I got her a little flashlight and, and laser. I don't know if I'm going to make this shine. Will it shine back on? Ah, yeah, Pedro, uh, God damn it, my eyes. It's got, it's got a flashlight. So, uh, with, God with, with, damn it, I can't see. Ah, yeah, you stop it. Head. Stop it. Yo, what's that. up? See, see Mo. 89 in the building, Prime Minister of Taste. Yeah. Uh, yeah, troublemakers. All you motherfucking troublemakers. And that is a little scope. Yeah, I'm going to mount this on my uh, it, it, it's a little optical, uh, digital. It, it, it holograph projects a, a little red dot on. on I, I, I think that uh, Pedro's getting a little get, too crazy right now. I, I'm Pedro. not. I'm, That's going to be on it. Thank you. Thank you, Prime Minister of Taste. Uh, I'll tell Gertrude you said that. She, she is quite lovely, man. Yes, uh, you got to. Work yeah, with. make sure you fun, tell her. Fun got to work with. Um, <laughs> sorry, sorry, RVA, for that epilepsy incident. My bad, y'all. I didn't mean to Yeah, that's you. messed up. That's uh, messed up. But that's when you got to back the fuck up. Just like this show will run up on your ass. Uh, it is, what, October 9th, 2020. Somehow we made it. Yeah, it's o- October 9th, man. It just seemed like the, the, the year went... It went slow, but it went fast. It's just, uh, yeah, you know, it's both. It's been a lot lately, man. So uh, we're going to end the show talking about uh, black girl tragedy. Um, that is um, <clears throat> the specific ways that um, the pandemic is affecting uh, black women, especially in the workplace. But right. before we talk about that, we're going to get into this last action. Uh, no, I don't have any uh, armor yet. So just, not there yet. But um, before we talk about Black Girl Tragic, last action hero. 
Are we at the point in America where George W. Bush is our last hope and savior? <laughs> That's a damn shame. Bush, who was uh, universally hated, too, until after he got out of the presidency. And then they went, oh, he's kind of a nice old white man. He's cool. Yeah, but why he was in office? But before Woo. we talk about that, we're going we're gonna to talk about getting a zero-star review. Uh, as Yelp it will now be adding a feature where they'll, they'll be labeling um, racist businesses. We're going to talk about that. Uh, before that, though, uh, we're going to talk about making moves. As in what Derek, Derek Chauvin is planning to do the uh, murderer of, or one of the murderers of George Floyd, uh, but the one who specifically kneeled on his neck, um, you know, for, for a murderous amount of time. Um, he, he's out of jail um, and has been given permission to move outside of the state of Minnesota. We're going to talk about that. But before we talk about that, we're going to get into this Trillville, y'all. Uh, Trillville, Trillville. We, we're going to see what happens. It, it, it's, it, it, he says he approved it, but I just saw a thing where they said that he might um, flip back flip back on it. See, and this is, this is where you, you, you begin to question the drugs, right? <laughs> but your boy Trumpy Dumpty has said that he, you know, uh, was cutting off talks uh, over stimulus with the Democrats. Uh, then he said he's back on it. And now he's apparently approved, as of, as of the last I heard, and, and I think right now, <laughs> um, we'll see what the next move is. But he's approved a $1.8 trillion stimulus package um, that he's trillion. Counting. That he's yes, that he's countering to the two point two trillion dollar package that passed in the House last week. Um, so Pelosi uh, not only wants more than that um, to the tune of four hundred million dollars, um, but she also is not seemingly not willing to go below two trillion. Um, but right. this is an interesting move to go above because the the, the Senate. Uh, package the GOP package was 1.6 trillion. So Trump, Trumpy Dumpty went above that, impeached President Trump. Uh, he went above that, um, which is interesting to kind of leapfrog your own party uh, and undercut that while while going back on your word. Um, he's doing anything with his desperate ass to get people to vote. That's the only reason he's fucking doing it. It kills me where people are falling for this sucker shit. It's all sucker shit. He ain't. He ain't about nothing. You know what I'm saying? When I see that motherfucker, man, I swear. You know what I'm saying? I swear. Some see this motherfucker in the streets. Yeah. And bitch, <laughs> I mean, and AJ Fit 365 said, bitch McConnell talking no, talking no, though, and Chump saying yes. Uh, yeah, Chumpty Dumpty. Uh, so that's what I'm saying. Like, he's, he's now at odds with his own uh, party over this issue, uh, particularly. Um, and there, there, you, you got to understand that there are many. Republican senators who do not want to give any more money at all, or others who don't want to go above a trillion, right? Um, so, you know, this 1.8 is like above and beyond what a lot of the Republican majority in the Senate even is willing to do or wants to do at all. Um, obviously, not something he consulted with them about. It is a desperate, I think, move and announcement to make something sound like something like you say Shang but you know what I mean like it's it you know I, I don't think because ultimately there's still an argument with the Democrats over how the money is spent right like you could give all the money but if you're not directing it properly and right you're and you're giving it to people who are multi-millionaires and you're, you, you're breaking off people who are multi-millionaires getting all kind of shit why would you even um you know that's it's it's not even Serving the purpose of the people. So, see, serving the purpose of the people. You got to serve the purpose of the people. The people got to get the money. Put the purpose of the people, the people. One of the time, people, the people say, hey, yeah. the people got to get the money. Yeah. People. The people. Get the money to the people. Hey. Yeah, man. Um, I'm sorry. That just hit me. It, I felt it. It felt it. And it just, sorry, that happened. That just happened. I think ultimately what all of this means is that nothing's going to get done before the election. And then afterwards, God help us all. You know what I mean? Just oh, no, um, but if, 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 if people get out and vote and try to, you know, not hopefully this, you know, their, their cheap mass won't, um, you know, 
win, then they got to go. And even though he's not going to go quietly, he still got to go. And if I and if they don't let him just go, then that means you know they wanted him to stay anyway, and that, the the people in power. So I, I think that I think that lately his his ratings have been going down. He is acting crazier and crazier. And I think this is just another desperate attempt to go. You know what? I give you one point eight trillion. Yeah, come on, guys, vote for me. Come on, guys. I'm, no, no, too late, motherfucker. Too late, bitch. That's like after, like if somebody, that's like somebody touched your daughter and you say, hey, I won't do it again. It's too late. You already touched them. You got to get these hands. That's just the way it's going to be. And I just think, you know, motherfuckers, yeah, Miss, as Miss Adverb, yeah, I'm not going to mind you. you All right. Miss Adverb. Focus on the road. That means you're going to be talking. Yeah, don't, don't get killed. <laughs> yeah. So I'll all the trolls can come out now. They know they're like, the films are occupied. Let's get out. Uh, yeah. Quick while she's compromised. Um, but welcome to the show, Ms. Adverb, for sure. Um, so, uh, uh, here, here's how you know, though, that this move by Trump D. Dumpty is bullshit. Because just, just to, okay, so you announced this morning or whatever that you want to do the 1.8 trill. Um, then this afternoon, he's on Rush Limbaugh. And yep. He's literally saying, I'm reading, this is a, uh, where am I getting this? this is a CNN.com article. Uh, in, in quotes, this is Trumpy Dumpty on Rush Limbaugh this afternoon. I would like to see a bigger stimulus package, frankly, than either the Democrats or Republicans are offering. Uh, and then he added, he, he, then he added that he's going in the exact opposite now. Maybe it helps or maybe it hurts negotiations. <laughs> Doc, if you want a bigger package, why wouldn't you just propose one then? Yeah, but he he can't because he knows there's Republicans that'll go against him. He's a bitch, man. He's but a he snitch. He's a bitch. Budget, so why not go all the way? I know he got because he got bitch like qualities. He uh, he's, he you know what I'm saying? On his orange skin, he uses orange bitch tan lotion. And you know what? When he when he eats food, guess what it is? It's bitch food. He's just a bitch. Like every definition of the word bitch. In fact, I like some new definitions of the word bitch. And by oh man, I saw this meme. I know you think memes you can't. It was the they said that the fly had checked into the hospital for Corona. Yeah, yeah we all the prayed for him. Yeah, by the fly that was on Pence's head, came down positive with Corona. It's Amen, shit's getting bro. thick right now. Amen. Uh, RVA Gourmet said, send him to the Hard Rock Arena with 65,000 people. Well, uh, apparently uh, tomorrow he's hosting hundreds of people on the uh, in, at the White House, and he's going to speak from the balcony. Um, and, and then on Monday he's having uh, a rally in Florida. Um, so he don't give a fuck. Zero your boy, fucks. Your boy pushing it. He, he's, he's take it to the limit. But you know what? They're rocking with him. They're not it, like uh, you know. Nobody's like really stopping him. He. he I understand man, why can't. he feels like I can do what the fuck I want. You yeah, they can. No man, you can't stop no man on that many steroids. What's wrong with you, Shane? You I know, brother. I'm sorry. What was I thinking, brother? Yeah. Oh man, let me tell you yeah. something, man. I'm gonna have a rally. Yeah, I know. I'm going to have a rally, and I wish you guys would try to stop me, brother. Yeah, I mean, I know he's fucking high as giraffe pussy right now. I think he's saying all the craziest shit that he wanted to say. Yeah, goddamn right, I'm down with the proud boys. Who wants up? I mean, fuck RVA, him. RVA I'm RVA so Gourmet fuck said, him. RVA Gourmet said he is doing a health assessment tonight on Fox News tonight. Um, <laughs> yeah, and that'll be a source we can trust. <laughs> Fox I'm, News. I'm sure oh wow, happened. comedian, comedian lips. Miss Lips said it's funny the Jews are quiet. What does that mean? The fuck does that mean? Actually, they're not. We talked about yesterday how uh, they're up they're not down. quiet. What are you talking about? And actually, there, there. So there's two different things going on there. It, it seemed to be a, a largely uh, Hasidic or Orthodox. Orthodox I got to drop out. The fucking call. Uh, yeah, there you go. But I, I've seen images of a. Uh, I don't know how you can't figure out the phone thing, but it's all great. Uh, uh, Savage AF, y'all. Um, but I've seen images of, you know, these protests from Orthodox Jewish uh, communities in uh, in New York uh, that were, you know, um, 
mad over the restrictions and, and how is it? What about now? Yeah, I can hear you fine. Oh, okay. Pretty much it. I never even plugged in my headphones. <laughs> Oh, okay. Now you know you. Now, wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. Did you just make you mocked me? I am so hurt. God damn it. Oh well, yeah. No, <laughs> no yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah. So, um, but so all that being said, I, I would put say, my phone on D and D. What's D and D? Do not disturb. Okay. Um, where's that at? There you go. And that's where you get. Okay. Into. Okay. Well, you got, right. you, anytime you acquire a phone, you got to get to know it, Shane. I mean, just just like any other tool in our lives, you got to get to know how to use it. Well, there he goes. Lost him there. He's he's pushing buttons. He ain't coming back. It'll be a while, y'all. Anyways, uh, oh, there you go. Hey, uh, but yeah, your boy, your boy Trumpy Dumpty's contradicting himself right after where it's saying he he would like to see a bigger package, uh, even though he. <laughs> totally could have put one out if he truly wanted to see that so he didn't want to put one out yada, i'm yada, so yada. sick of him all right exactly i mean you know what there's got to be a point where uh, you know what i like the fact that jake tapper i saw jake tapper and one of his trump flunkies was on there and Trent, jake tapper gave him maybe a minute and said okay thanks right and just cut him off that's what the fuck they need to do they need to go listen Listen, all right, Let's enough of your bullshit. your bullshit. Yeah, man, fuck it. Yeah, enough of your... What? Or maybe a little button that says, eh, enough of your bullshit. We know you're going to start well, lying and make it, you know, Jesus. Well, okay, so here's the thing. Speaking of bullshit and enough of it, uh, we're going we're gonna to flip to Minnesota, Minneapolis. Uh, Derek Chauvin, you know, the, the lead dealer. Yeah, the, 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 you, mean, the you mean murderer? George Floyd murderer. murderer. Yeah, yeah. The, the lead kneeler in the in the in the murder of George Floyd. So yeah, head murderer. Um, you know he's the he's the last one to be out on on bail, um, but just got out on bail, million dollar bond, um, and uh, he has gotten permission from the court to actually move uh, elsewhere, either elsewhere in Minnesota or to an adjacent state like uh, Dakota or Wisconsin. Um, so, and, and, and all of that is because of, you know, the, the violence and threats that he and his attorneys and all that are facing. Um, and they're also, yes, they should. they're, they're, yeah, well, they're, and they're moving to, uh, have the case, uh, move to another county, another location because they can't get a fair trial. And I'm just like, first of all, I, I'm not quite sure what the fuck a fair trial is in this, like. Who, who, who's, who's not biased or influenced by this? I mean, we all, the nation can sit and watch the dude the sit world. on his neck while he's, hand, while he's handcuffed, the world, right? Can sit there and watch him while he's handcuffed uh, with the guy just leaning on his neck and he's saying he can't breathe. And even after he's motionless and obviously dead, he's still kneeling on him. Like, wh where are you going to move this trial to where somebody's like, well, I have, I have now. You said his Wait name a minute, Floyd, wait a minute. What? Saturn? Floyd Saturn? Mayweather? No. George yeah. Foreman? No, listen, yeah, you don't know it, about, like, I'm like, are you out of your fucking mind? So, what, it, and, it's going to happen. It's going to fucking happen. You know, there's one of these things where I understand and, and I believe in the whole justice system, even though it, it hasn't been applied properly to us as, it, as it's written. You know, we don't execute things, ideals properly, but as it's written, uh, everybody should have their day in court. But, you know, this is like you, you have your day in court to be like, guilty, <laughs> go to jail. You know what I'm saying? Like, we'll see you never. Uh, you know, like that could be your day in court. Just, just wrap this shit up. We got the video. Right. Yeah. How, how about no court? Him. How about no but court? Yeah, go, look, you know, you're guilty, motherfucker. Bye. And just have him prison raped right there on the steps of the court. Just right there. Just let a dude out of jail that been trying to fuck some dude. Hey, what's up, Eve? What's up, Eve? Eve, we... we we see you waving your hands at you. Thank you, Eve. This is this is Eve's work. This is what she be doing. Yeah. And I'm sad that you have to make that's her a, face. That, by the way, that's a uh, mouse pad. Um, and let me, let me tell you something about this whole bullshit. I, the way I feel about it is there's got to be a point where we just go, enough. And no, the electric chair, they should show, throw his ass in a tub with a bunch of electronics, just this, not even electric chair, electric tub, let him be like soaking and then just mm -hmm. throw some shit in there enough. And it's like, well, we got to make sure it's fair. 
and go to another city and another state and another planet. Get the fuck out of here. You're Bro. guilty. Take that L and go to jail. Nigga. Fuck it. Klingons would fucking find you goddamn guilty. Like, yo, that was, that was foul. That was foul shit. Fuck, uh, fuck, fuck. <laughs> Doug, like, you know. Guilty. Romulans would have been like, no, that, that's some bullshit. So, uh, um, yeah, that's that, 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 that's that shit right there. I'm not sure what fair trial there is, especially when you look at the way, um, you know, obviously a, a guy like George Floyd didn't even need a day in court um, because he had done nothing wrong but didn't even live to get there once he was arrested and, and, and put yeah, in and the, Yeah, and the other thing is, I want to know, how the fuck did he... This is how many people believe in this cop. A million dollars bail. So that means even if he got... It's a million dollars bail, or that means it had to be, what, a quarter of a million dollars you have to raise? What is it when the bail is a million, you have to le raise at I least thought it might be half? 10, I thought it was maybe 10%, but I, I'm not sure. Um, but even if it's 10%, that's a grip of money. My, my, and does a cop, does, does he got it like that? Or thing, is it, was it? My thing is then, if you got to do all of this uh, protective stuff and, and blah, 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 while you're out, yeah, see, but it, it, I think it's, yeah, it's 10% cash. Uh, I mean, yeah. 100,000 Seba said, so yeah, I thought so. Um, but uh, if you, if you got to do all this protection stuff while you're out, um, maybe you should stay your ass in jail. Like, maybe that's why you should right. let him out. You know what I mean? If it's so dangerous out there and there's so many people mad at him, uh, you could uh, isolate those possibilities by, you know, putting him in isolation, like in jail, um, where he belongs, you know, even until he gets or, to trial. Like, or, yeah. or you could just have him prison raped now. Just, <laughs> I just, I just, I'm a high, you know what? I'm a, I'm a proponent of people like him to just get straight you know, face raped. And I just, I don't know if that, yeah, I just like, just a big, a big black brother from fucking down south that been lifting weights all his life, been in jail for some shit he didn't commit and just put him in a cell with him, grab him by the back of his ears and just prison rape his fucking face till he bleeds. That's how bad this man is. His nonchalance says he had his knee on that man's neck. He needs an aggressive fucking punishment, not just well, you can go home for a while. Or, Mel, you can go live somewhere else. No, motherfucker. This is what happens when you act like that. So, but they're not going to do it because he's white. And they go, like, we know how we like to let white people get away with not just murder, but everything. In comedy, in the comedy field, this motherfucker's as funny as throat cancer and a bag of dead babies. And they get bookings more than Pedro and myself. So all you motherfuckers, all you motherfuckers can kiss my ass if you think that he should get bail. He shouldn't even be, he shouldn't be denied bail, but he got it. Shouldn't even be an option, man. Uh, CB313 yep. said the militias will protect him. Uh, we, first of all, and I see your point, but we got to stop calling these, these white dudes militias, man. They're, they're just terrorists. terrorists. They're terrorists. Um, so, yes, the, the European-American terrorist will, <laughs> will definitely protect him. Um, but, you know, he, he, he is catching, uh, you know, his lawyer, I think, had like $10,000 worth of damage to his car or something from, you know, just trying to get out the parking lot because um, <laughs> uh, of protesters and things like that. But uh, that's, that's all the more reason why I'm like, don't, don't let him out. Like, like, just keep him in the fucking jail by himself for a while. All the more reasons right. to speed up because the process. He, he, but we know what? You know why? I don't, I, maybe that's not the case because if you look at what was the uh, uh, Zimmerman, we thought that he, could, he wouldn't be able to walk around and live his life after the shit that he did with Trayvon on Martin. And he walked around for a while living his life. He kept fucking up and getting arrested. And, you know, then he started, like, selling Skittles because he's a cunt. But, I mean, maybe... He, he'll be able to maybe he can grow a beard and people won't know who he is but I, if he stays in jail they're going to separate him because he's going to get you know face fucked so i hope that and i don't mean face fucked no, that's in what, that's like a I, sexy that's, way that's i mean in an aggressive is. hurt you way but that's even what the <laughs> isolation is for man you know you could he could he could sit in iso for a while you know brothers and sadness <laughs> right uh, until it's not until the trial though not until the trial though they won't I mean, that's no. all the more reason to speed up the process. What, 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 
What, is what are we waiting for? What is the defense coming with? Like, what, what do you possibly have that's going to defend any of Derek Chauvin's actions once they have him handcuffed and he's on the ground with his knee on his neck? Like, you got other officers like, shouldn't we turn him over? He's like, nah, we good. Like, fuck all that, bro. Like, just get to it. Yeah, I, but you know what? I, the dance. There's other situations where you go, how are you going to defend this shit? There's no way you can defend this bullshit. And somehow, some way, they twist into a pretzel. They do their, you know, twist back and forth. They disjoint their fucking arms to twist it in a way so they can say, this is his defense. Yeah. You know, so, I mean, a couple of cops, a couple of cops where they were blatantly, blatantly wrong. They said, well, I felt in fear of my life. They go, yeah, the dude was actually, you know, with his back to you. And down in South Carolina, he was running away from you. You planted a taser next to his body. We have a video of it. Somebody had an iPhone that you didn't know was even there. Well, they, so they, they, they tried to find quickly, a defense though. for that. They moved him. They, like the mayor of that city had him arrested quickly, though, like. They, 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 you know, I, I thought that was a place that, uh, was that Charlotte, North Carolina, where they, they did that properly, at least, um, in, in terms of, of, you know, arresting and, and prosecuting that, that off, you know, that murderer. That motherfucker. Um, uh, speaking of motherfuckers, and earlier you mentioned, uh, uh, them twisting like pretzels. Uh, and if you happen to have a pretzel shop that's racist, uh, Yelp. <laughs> that, that sells racist pretzels. Yeah. And, and <laughs> Yelp is going to call you pretzel, this, this pretzel tastes like oppression. Yeah, this man. is, what, what is, is this made of? <laughs> this is, uh, this, this unfair, can I have if the unfair got, housing? Can I have got, the unfair housing pudding? Bigot, yeah. bigot bagels or. Right, know, exactly. Yeah, uh, uh, <laughs> You know, a, a race, a, a racist rotisserie shop or whatever. <laughs> like, um, Yelp is gonna tell on your ass. You know what I mean? Um, you know, uh, and it's gonna be based on media reports and and uh, what do you call it? User reviews. So you know, they're gonna take public opinion plus uh, public reports and, and media reports and and start labeling those businesses. So. You know, when you go right. to the hot, hot dog stand or whatever, and you look it up or whatever, and, then, and they're like, uh, yeah, unless you want to get hung, <laughs> don't hang here. <laughs> um, and, you know, we're going to be like, thank you. I didn't realize that was a cracker. Yeah. Uh, any place called The Hangout, yeah. I wouldn't fuck with. Yeah. Where, where do you get your cheese and crackers? <laughs> Not at Cracker Barrel anymore. <laughs> Not at Cracker Barrel. And Cracker Barrel really is racist. That's the wild shit. I have been to uh, is that it? place. Yeah. When I did shows down south, and I was like, "Wow, I like I literally went in and I thought, "Oh shit, you know they probably gonna put they dick in my food and then bring it out. I ain't eating here." Yeah. And my friends was like, "Come on, bro, everybody eats here, not me, not at <laughs> not a cracker ass cracker barrel. Fuck that." Or soup but plantation. I love the fact that they're doing this. I love the fact that uh, you know that they're gonna have racist Yelp reviews. But will it reverse the other way? So if you go to like Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles, which mostly is white people, I haven't ate, ate there in decades. But when I went there, I used to go get it for my ex. She's like, I love Roscoe's. I like go there. It was none but white folks in there for the chicken and waffles. So would it be racist, reverse racism if they say, well, you know, black people, there was too many black people in here and they kept staring at me. Well, well if it's life. Not, if, I thought, if it's nothing but white folks in there, though, they wouldn't be able to say that. So yeah. they'd just be like, I felt, Maybe. Right at, I felt right at home at Roscoe's. It felt safe. I, I knew everybody. Hey, Jim, how are you? Yeah. yeah. No, the maple syrup, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, like uh, RBA Gourmet said, biker bars. Yeah. She always but, said she likes you know. Cracker Barrel. We're not talking about the food. It's the atmosphere. It might taste fine. But, but uh, you don't know what they just you don't the know what they the doing. Alone. You don't the know if they... Alone. You think that's gravy, and that might be butt wipe that they put on your meatloaf. Fuck that. No, no, no. Like, man, this fucking, this tastes salty. You know why? It was the chef's dick in it. Right. That's why. Yeah. I, I want to hear that. I'm telling you right now, it makes me apprehensive now. Your restaurant was actually, I, 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 I got to admit, it was pretty decent. Uh, they, they fucked up the salmon. I mean, a good way. That's a compliment. Oh, there you go. When they fuck, say fuck yeah, they, they fuck that up. 
Fuck with well, you, you know, if my business, good. if the business I work at ever becomes a uh, racist, I'm sure we'll get the review themselves. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> you know, you know uh, they usually put me on the black customers so that we avoid that situation. <laughs> like, hey, my brothers, hey, my sisters, how y'all doing tonight? No, that, that's, oh, not, wow. true. that's, that's not true. That's, that's crazy. Not true. That's not true. No, no, yeah. I know. I mean, but that would be like, uh, Pedro, there's some <laughs> we color have some here. Guests for you. <laughs> we have some you know. colors here. Could you please go talk to the coloreds? Yeah. And first yeah. off, I like, motherfucker, did you say coloreds? Yeah, no, it's oh, not. Wow. It ain't like that. It ain't, it, it, it ain't like that. But it's uh, indeed, no, it, it is. You're right. It's it, it's a good place. But I ultimately, guess. you know, ultimately, this is, uh, I think, an example of one of the things that like Facebook isn't aggressive about and hasn't done historically is recognizing their role in this greater society in terms of social interactions, right? And and why, why would they have business, businesses that they're promoting or directing people to on their sites that hold these antiquated views, you know, where the ownership is, um, you know, anti-LGBTQ, anti-Black, anti-Muslim or whatever. Well, yeah, you know no, what I mean? you know what? They did that with, it was a baker that, I forget where it was, what part of the country, where a baker didn't want to sell to this gay couple that wanted to buy a wedding cake. Yeah, it was, yeah. you know, two, two guys that wanted to buy a cake and they didn't want to sell them the cake and they got all kind of heat, but they didn't shut them down or they didn't give them bad, they may have got bad reviews, but they still continued their business. But what they can come back with from Yelp is like, you're, you're damaging my business. This can be all perception instead of actuality this could not be factual so i mean i see what you're saying but you know I, I see a lot of lawsuits and pushback from that because you're like you're damaging my business you know you're damaging my business no, saying no, that but, well, i'm racist it'll be it'll be based on media reports and and view user reviews so it won't just be yelp making you know it's just them recognizing the you know putting putting that business in a context oh there's a report of this oh we saw them do that Oh, this, you know, we have 58% of the users are complaining about this same thing and they're all of the same demographic. Um, yeah, something's right. going on here. So, you know, I think that's a responsible way to act. And, and, you know, fuck those businesses if they, I think it'll be obvious that they are who they are. And Yelp is, is making an attempt to understand their role in it. Comedian Lips, uh, Miss Lips said, comedy is racist too. Uh, I would disagree with that statement. I would say that c comedy has racism in it. Some comedy can be racist sometimes, but comedy is not racist. <laughs> like, it's yeah, not a, the, it's not comedy a itself is not racist. Yeah, it's not comedy bookers, people back. comedy bookers, and comedy business people, and also the some, industry some. is racist. Some. some, but there are some. No, there's a very good amount. Well, the, there's, there's a good there, amount. There, there's a there's a racist construct to the industry in general, and it's honestly at its, at, at its purest form is just called casting, right? Like they they could yeah. literally be like, no, I only want an Asian person for this part. Yeah, you know, and there might be an obvious reason why, um, or you know, this is a, a role for a white guy. Like they can just say that, right? And uh, hey, TK five seven five, what's going on? Uh, but yeah, but they you they, dealt with it. I I, was, I mean, we, when I met you, you dealt with it. But that doesn't I, mean that each person you. in it is you know blah blah blah. No, not each person, but I mean, I think that you know across the. A, the scope of America, which is based on racism, that's what it is. I get it. But Man. I just think that the fact that Yelp said, yeah, we coming after you, old cracker-ass crackers. Don't get you that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, you know we're going to make you Yelp. Yelp. Who that's what we're going to do. We're going to come back at you because you ain't going to. We got a militia waiting. Whoever you Yelp motherfuckers are, we're coming at you. You think that they're not going to come back with some shit? I think that they are. But I love it. I love the fact. Now, what if they did that across the board with everything? Like, I uh, think it, in life. Like, with, in life. Let's well, try that. Why don't we follow what Yelp does? But I don't know. I'm just, I think that the Civil War is coming. I think that uh, I'm glad I bought some samurai swords and ninja stars. Um <laughs> Because they never see that coming, and you don't hear that. The neighbors won't hear me throw a couple of ninja stars <laughs> into somebody's chest yeah. and then slice them up with a samurai sword, and I put them in the freezer for later. I'm telling you, it's going down, man. I already know it. Civil yeah. War. Fucking eight. They caught 13 motherfuckers that were going to kill a governor. It's going down. Well, they were going to try her. Shank, they were they were just gonna put her on trial. Well, oh yeah, yeah. Smart trial. 
It was a, a secret, trial. I mean, in a secret location in Wisconsin. I mean, shut up. Like, what's the problem? <laughs> Have you seen the pictures of these guys, though? Have you seen the pictures of these? Guys? I saw them. I saw it. Bro, yeah, it is on me. The I don't know what you want to call them. The unlucky thirteen. <laughs> but uh, these motherfuckers look. I mean, I, I, I honestly, I wouldn't let these motherfuckers be janitors at, um, you know, anything from a middle school on down. I think most high school kids could take nah, them. That would be questionable. Yeah. But yeah. Um, I mean, sketched out completely. One of the du- one of the dudes had the African ear things. They they had taken him out, but he had the droopy earlobes because he had had like probably a tree trunk in his fucking yeah. ear. I'm like, you how you gonna colonize and be a, a racist ass cracker at the same you gonna take and put African because ear? Because he things? wasn't getting his rats, man. He getting his rats. Did not have a mask on, man. Come on, man. I'm a fucking, come on, man. They're C-Mo, making me wear a mask. Simo 89 said, deliverance looking motherfuckers. Like, <laughs> dang, 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 dang. They're, nice. they're, so. You know what? The, the fact they're putting their pictures out there, uh, they, there's a lot of people, white people saying that you're, um, you know, painting them in a negative light. I'm like, they Who got caught that? for conspiracy. There, there was, there's, there's white coalitions, and it's not racist white coalition. This is when you get people that are so politically correct that they feel like they gotta protect everybody. And sometimes I feel like no, just like sometimes crazy's crazy. Not wow, he was beat as a kid, and he wow, he used to see porn when he was a kid. It could be just no, these motherfuckers is racist from the door, and that's it. They weren't indoctrinated they were just fucking idiots and losers and they need somebody to blame they loserness on and when you saw the pictures you thought none of these motherfuckers get pussy none of them none of them if you spending that much time plotting to kill a governor or try the governor and you ain't plotting to get no pussy then well it might be you yeah but, i'm gonna pull um, the pictures up of them yeah the, no they what is they, it the unlucky 13 no i don't yeah the, um, <laughs> I just made that up, but uh, they, uh, I mean, you know, this was a, a a group of guys that I'm like, yeah, none of you look like you have the sum total IQ of a, a, a bass tuba, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, I feel, they I feel like there are wind instruments that have more mental capacity just by looking at them, um, but they, right. they, were, they were plotting heavy. They were getting up under bridges and they were trying to recruit an engineer and a plumber to an electrician to help them read blueprints. <laughs> like, right, they were talking about lighting up. The, I just want to light it up. I want to light up the world. There's no other way. They they wrote, read off some of the emails. It's like, bro, there's no other way. We got to just light up the world. We got to light up the yeah. world, which is basically blow up the place. Yeah. And so, hey, man. <laughs> they, they not, they that's, not Michigan. that's Michigan for you. Hey, dude, trust me. B. Pryor knows what it is. <laughs> what up, though? Like, we know. Um, so yeah, that that that's what we were dealing with. So we're 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 so we're at this point now <laughs> where <laughs> Savage AF, y'all, by the way. Uh make sure you follow us wherever you get your podcasts on all right. platforms. Follow and follow and, at Black Pedro. And make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube, Savage AF Podcast. That's what it is. Um but so since we're in Wingnut Crackerland. And it's like fully, you know, we've been here for a while, but like they're just fully out. Like they're out of the caves and ooga booga. And, uh, you know what I mean? Like uh, they, they, they are me, really to, that, to them. That was a full sentence I just said. The ooga booga plus the uh, like they understood what I said. Um, but the, the, I'm going to show you guys. This is the primary pictures of the ones that initially had started it. And okay, got, there you go. And that's the and then there's three other ones that they've got. Look, they all they all have terrorist well, not all, I'm sorry, but the ones who have beards, they all they're like terrorist beards. <laughs> I mean these yeah. look, they look jihadi as fuck, but just dipped in, in powdered sugar. You know what I'm saying? Like they that's look, it. they just look and oh except for that one in the corner, he, he was very Hitlery. Very with just the mustache right. and the and the Ken doll hair. But yeah, he looks very like he Hitler-y. looks like he, he likes kitty porn. Oh, yeah. Um no he keeps he keeps but yeah, they, they, and they and they're okay um there's another website called Uncle Sam's uh something that, that that's the ones that are saying that they don't deserve this treatment. Uh, yeah, they wow. can go fuck themselves man cuz now we're in, in such a crazy <laughs> we're we're in such a crazy place that 
I mean, there there are people out there, you know, Republicans and Democrats, who are are praying for a Joe Biden endorsement from uh, George W. Bush, um, because he is he is a respected Republican. You know, we all have our feelings about him, right? But he is a respected Republican who at this point, like we've been saying, I mean, Trumpy Dumpty makes, um, he, I mean, you know, honestly, he, he makes some of these other world leaders and dictators look pretty calm, cool, and collected. Um, yeah, so it's, and it's it makes, he make, makes George Bush look like a fucking, like a fucking genius saint. scholar. Like, yeah, he's, like he knew it all, had it in, <laughs> had it all together. Um, so a voice like his endorsing Joe Biden um, is, is, is thought to Will, will be a heavy swing, a heavy voice uh, in that direction. I, you know, obviously I hope he endorses him, but it, it also just dawns on me that we're, we're at this place where everybody needs George Bush <laughs> to do the right thing. Like, I can't believe we're here where it's like, that's, that's one, uh, that's a, that's a major voice. Where but you know what? Yeah. Uh, it was funny. Arve Gourmet said, uh, George Bush doesn't like <laughs> black people. That's right. That's in our Kanye voice. Yeah, but you know what? I, I, I see what you're saying, but the fact Donald that Trump we're does. at the bar, I know the bar is pretty low. The bar is pretty low where we need George Bush to <laughs> endorse. It's like, yeah, man, let's get Skippy from Family Ties. It's just, it just goes further and further down the fucking line of just yeah. horrible people. The motherfucker that didn't get picked for Dancing with the Stars. Like, it's just... Anybody, the lowest level motherfucker. And George Bush is probably like, think he's a man now. It's like, yeah, the president, they want me to endorse the president. I don't know if I want to. Like, he mm. can get cocky about it. But I'm going to tell you right now, man, I'm stunned of the level. The Like, with Obama, Obama had to be everything that a black person could be at the top of his game for them to go. And they still were like, shut up, nigger. Get my bags, even though he was way above them intellectually, um, physically, uh, just appealing, everything. And this motherfucker, man, and I'm just talking about Biden. Biden can just get what he gets because he just he's the other running mate. He's not, he's not, just, he's not Donald Trump. That's all. <laughs> that's all that is. Yeah, but that's it, what I mean. He's not Donald Trump. So that's why he gets to, Yeah, That part does bother me. That, that yeah. does bother me. Um, yeah. So Sad. I mean, but but we, you know, the, I just think we're it's it's a funny place for, and I, I don't mean funny, haha, but funny, strange place for us to be in where uh, we need. Wait a, a minute, you don't mean funny, haha, like ha ha. Yeah. You mean funny, like <laughs> this, <laughs> this motherfucker. Yeah, no, it's a uh, yeah, it's 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 like W. I mean, the motherfucker who sat there. For, I don't know what, like 10, 11 minutes. What's up, Donnie? I see you in the building. B bites Boston. We see you. Only yeah, one we got mystical. a lot of people jumping in. Jumping um, in. Uh, only one mystical. Thank you, you for jumping in. Venomous underscore scorpion underscore 29. When By the way, your kung fu is not better than mine, scorpion. Yeah. <laughs> I did better scorpion. do that. When, when they leaned into George W. Bush's ear while he was reading a, a story to some kids and told him that Sat there. We are under attack. And that motherfucker just sat there like, ah, damn. I damn. I, I probably should have read that report because I know they had put a report. I'm like, now that I think about it, there was a thing that they said that they was going to use planes to go in. And I was like, ah, nah, that's bullshit. But damn. Damn. Yeah, what am I going to do? Like, and then you just, know what's funny? There's a video like where they show... They show the clock ticking, and then they cut back to him. Then they show the clock ticking, and him in a different position. Fucking hilarious. It's called that. If you have never seen somebody freeze up. But I think that right now, Trump is so desperate. And Biden is not necessarily desperate because he's up by six points. They said nine points, 14 points in some areas. But he's up primarily by six because you got to give that, you know, the curve. But I'm going to tell you right now, if he gets, if he does get George Bush and the Republicans that are down with George Bush still, it hopefully is another nail in the coffin of this fucking horrible un orange bitch stick of a person. Not even a president, bitch stick of a person. Rollo the leader in the building. Rollo the leader, uh, one of our friends and 
you know what I mean? Uh, a very successful sex change uh, recipient. Yeah, to congratulations. To them. Uh, he got a sex change from... Them. Yeah, so he was actually... He got a sex change from being a man to a man. So it's just... But, what's going on, Rollo? But they don't want to be called he, Shane. They want to be yeah, called they. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Them, I, I know I'm, I was, I'm out of, you know, I'm being politically incorrect. My bad. Them don't like that. So them what's don't up, like Rollo? That. Um, I know. Him don't like that. Him and him don't like that. Them don't like that. J-R-A-M-Y-C said he was singing a lullaby in his head, George W. Bush. And it was probably row, row, row your boat. And it was echoing inside the empty head. So it was like, row, row, row your boat. Jenny, down, row your boat, row, row, row. You know how you do it in tandem and shit? And he's right. doing it by himself in his head and shit. So I, I could see why he sat there a while just trying to get Miss Adverb's it. out of here. Bye, Miss Adverb. And uh, Miss Adverb, I want you to go back to your training because we need you to have you use your kung fu on anyone that tries to troll us. Thank mm -hmm. you for coming She's and Sergeant checking the show out today. Sergeant at Arms. Sergeant at Arms, exactly. exactly. And uh, exactly. make sure that you guys, uh, by the way, make sure you guys not only uh, subscribe to the uh, podcast version of the show, which is on iTunes, Stitcher, Slacker, Google Play, iHeartRadio, and Spotify, you need to check out the YouTube um, page we got. It's a new YouTube channel. I said page because well, I was thinking of Facebook, but, I, you know, Shout Facebook's JF evil. Um, Savage AF Podcast on YouTube. Subscribe, goddammit. All right, so I just, do you, do you, I mean, have you ever, ever seen George Bush really do something when you go, yeah, that's the man? Think about it. Thank God. Never. Man. Thank God W was there. He, he was missing. <laughs> exactly. That's he never was, been a sentence. He, remember, he in was his mission, life. mission accomplished, standing on a battle carrier and with the big flag behind him and all the troops around him, like, we got it. We did it. We're done. Motherfucker, we still got troops there. We just the longest war we've ever still there. Had. What are you talking about? Yeah. 19 years. 19 years. Like, Obama pulled out <laughs> a lot. He pulled out a lot of troops. Uh, Trump is pulling out some as well. But we're still going to have, like, 4,500 troops there um, as of next year. So, uh, yeah, bro, we, you know, we ain't out of this yet. But, I, but you <laughs> know what, though? A, a lot of people are coming around to um, actually endorsing Biden that I didn't think would. And there's a lot of Republicans that specifically uh, never been down with Trump, uh, with never Trumpers, that are fueling the um, Lincoln Project that are fueling America First Project, which is actually America First, not, and it's basically in parentheses, not Trump. Um, so there's a lot of celebrities I saw that are really getting down. Yeah, yeah only one mystical said when he exchanged candy with Michelle Obama. Yeah, I, I admit that, that that's a moment. N not just a moment. It, it bothers me in general that the Obamas and the Bushes are so close now. Uh, it really does. Um, but, you know, without judgment, it's just one of those things where it's just like, uh It irritated me. It's like, a club. stop, it's stop a club. hamming it up. Yeah, it's I felt like it was a hamming it up. Market. It was a catering. You were already president. You're out. Fuck it, man. I mean, I, that's the one thing that I do hate about comedy and the industry and the world. Where they, we feel like we have to pander sometimes and cater just to get through and make white people feel comfortable. Um, I'm not saying that all white people... I'm going to make sure I emphasize that because it's not all white people. There's some mad, chill, cool, motherfucking white people. Absolutely. But come on, man. That was pandering. When it, candy, switching candy, that was some pandering shit to make white people feel like, see, we're cool. No, I mean, no, no. I, 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 I know. I think they are cool. It's not pandering. They're, they're, that's, that's what bothers me the most. Is they're, they're, they're they are cool. cool. You really think so? Oh no! They, this is uh, absolutely because that, that's what I'm saying. It wasn't. The I candy. don't. I think it's candy show. moment. The candy moment was just a moment. They are they are cool as shit because at all the events they sit next to each other now. You know, there's an order by which these presidents um, sit. All the all the living former presidents. Really? So, yeah, they end up eat next me, to each eat other. Me, eat me! Eat me! Bro, I'm telling you, they they the Obamas talk about uh, you know how cool they are, and you know I think especially Michelle and George get along really well um, somehow. Well, somewhere. you know what it is. I think when you get old, sometimes maybe maybe it's when you get old, you go, ah, fuck it, let it go. But I'm never gonna do that. I'm gonna be the oldest mean, old, mean old black man sitting on the porch going, "You white motherfuckers, get off my lawn." I think I'm gonna <laughs> get, be that. Get, 
And there's gonna be somebody that's just like, sir, I'm just light skinned like you. I don't give a fuck, my fucking get from now. <laughs> you what, what, I'm white. light skinned, you light skinned, but you know what you are. Get Stop the fuck off white. my skin. No, I'm I'm kidding. I, I you know what I need to just <laughs> gotta breathe through these moments, man. You're gonna okay, get I'm better now. You're okay, gonna get I can't wait a second. All right. Okay, I'm gonna cur a curmudgeon. That's right, RB Gourmet. I'm gonna be a curmudgeon, like, what the fuck you looking at, goddammit? You don't want none of this smoke? Um, I'm I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You guys yeah. stop it. It's called Savage AF. I was joking. I don't mean it. I think it's white people are very cute. They're cuddly. I like them. And people think I'm mixed. And I'm not. I guess because I'm so high yellow. I am high yellow. You see my legs. I'm like, who's that white dude uh, from the waist down? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't think that. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. They'll be like, those white legs are walking so black. I just don't get it. It's confusing. Yeah. They've got swag. Listen to the voices coming out, but his legs is white as fuck. Uh, ah, yeah, I'm, I'm, but I'm weird. But I, you know what? The one thing I wanted to say that I'm, I've noticed when people inbox us about the show, very complimentary of Pedro, which um, Pedro's used to getting heat from hating ass fucking comedians. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and they are haters. Some of them are haters. They're fucking haters. And they ain't even haters on his talent. It's just haters on... Well, why are you doing this? Why is it like, shut the fuck up? Uh, I'm, wow, I'm really red bone. I am a red bone uh, comedian, Miss Lips. Yeah. <laughs> but I can put your legs on your shoulders and show you what the deal is and drive hey. your ass home. Mm -hmm. Hey. Who, who be walking man, funny then? I'd I drive that ass home. You don't fuck with me. Who be walking um, funny then? Um, do you think do you, before we go into this last one, which is a very uh, is that was kind of dark. You kind of went dark on the end, last one. No nah, man, but, uh, it just is what it is, man. I want to see Biden and George Bush in the same, you know, or at least you know, close proximity of each other, and I want to see him endorsing. I really would like to see that because Biden doesn't seem like he's chummy chummy with the Bushes. He doesn't. I've never seen. Like, it always seems like it's Obama and Michelle, uh, Michelle Obama and Barack, but I've never seen the Bushes, it's like, like, cuddle up. It's like, no matter what the, the, the Obamas are in, are in the, the president and first ladies club, you know what I mean? Like, it's a, it's a club. It's a fraternity and sorority linked together right. um, through time. And so they'll have these things and experiences in common of just living in that same place, you know what I mean, um, and, and dealing with a lot of the same issues, um, no matter how differently they may have dealt with them. So uh, I can understand there being, you know, afterwards, after the politics are done in their careers, that, you know, they could find some common ground. But, yeah, it, it, it's a little stomach churning to watch them, you know, chum chum up with them. But, you know. The, the Obamas, they take the high road, so they're not going to shun people like yeah, that. Yeah, we go, not. yes, what she say, when they go low, we go high. Yeah. And then I forget the brother that worked for him said, no, when they Eric go low. Holder, Eric Holder. Eric Holder, the best shit ever. He said, no, when they go low, we kick them. <laughs> we kick them really hard. And I am And then I giggle my motherfucking five. ass off. All right, y'all. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so one thing that won't make you giggle your ass off is... Um, and specifically in the workplace, the way is, is this black girl tragic that's going on. And that is to say right. that um, within the pandemic where black and brown people are um, being uh, affected um, at detrimentally higher rates in terms of uh, infection and, and death, um, that, you know, they, so there's that layer. But within that, Black women, um, as a subset, are, are suffering ev even more. Um, so I, I'm just going to read this paragraph. This is from the Wall Street Dur Journal. Uh, I'll hit you with this. Black women in the survey of more than 40,000 workers were about three times as likely as men or women overall to say their biggest workplace stress during the pandemic has been grieving the loss of a loved one. Uh, wow. They, wow. Cited con they cited concerns about work, including health and safety as well. Um, in, in addition to that, this article, uh, you know, cites a lot of emotional things like from the inability to concentrate, you know what I mean? And, and just needing some time right. off. Right, to focus, right. Uh, also to, to not feeling, and I think there's something we can all, if, if you work in a, you know, especially a, a majority white or uh, a non-majority black environment, um, not having a space where you can be 
your whole self. So they talk about a lot of women saying, you know, they don't feel like they can be, you know, their entire selves at work. Um, they don't want to bring drama to work because of, you know, um, fear of perceptions. Um, they don't want to take too much time off or work from home because they don't want to be perceived as taking advantage of the system. Um, and, yeah. you know, they can't all- be too angry, can't be yeah. too angry because they get the label angry black woman. Like, I get that. But um, so I, I just want to say, stressful. Uh, I just want to say to our sisters out there that, you know, uh, Shang and I are here for you and that there are, are many black men out there for you. And, 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 and please uh, feel free to reach out to us, uh, any of us in, in your lives who for, for that support that you need. Um, and, and know that if you don't have that voice at work, you can always be your whole self around us. Um, I might need a drink first, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because it should be getting heavy. But now, right. feel, you know what I'm saying? But like, in, in reality, I, you know, I know as a black man, I, I, I definitely feel those layers myself. But um, that as a woman, specifically, you're going to deal with a whole bunch of other stuff as well. Uh, you know? It's going to yeah. be a bunch of bullshit. But the bottom line is, yeah, we're down for you, and you can reach out. And all, and believe it or not, um, we ain't all about just want to get some coochie. You know, it ain't. It, Sometimes you can actually speak to us and talk to us without some kind of, you know, ulterior motive. And that's the one thing I, I've noticed with some women, black women, um, that I have talked to, where they, they, there's an assumption that you are automatically. Uh, are going to be a dog or bad and shit like that. And that's not the case at all. Yeah. Sometimes we just want to support you, get you on back on your feet, do your thing. And that's it. You don't want a relationship. Don't want to, you know, fuck. I mean, cause I won't fuck nobody that don't want to fuck me. So I never press up on women like, Oh, you going to give me somewhere like, no, me. Yes. That's just creepy. <laughs> Anybody says, well, she said no, but she meant yes. No motherfucker. That you're a rapist. That's what you are. <laughs> When, yeah. when you say that shit, like, man, I mean, she looked like she wanted it. What you mean she looked like she wanted it? Where, where the fuck is that sentence coming out of your head, rapey boy? So, uh, yeah, I feel like I did not know some of that, but you just rattled off from the New York Times article. But God damn, it's actually, that is stressful. Wall, it's actually Wall Street Journal, if you ladies want to look it up. It says, for black working women, COVID-19 has been a heavy burden. as the uh, title of the article. But, um, yeah, you know, they're... they're all of these stresses before this. Um, and then with this extra layer of pandemic between, you know, should you even be at work because of safety reasons? Um, don't let all of that stay on your shoulders, ladies. Let it go. We got a minute 45 right. on this thing. Then I got to get to work. Damn, Speaking that's extra breaks on your place. back, boy. Um, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah why, did one, why did one of your eyes get real small? Like, what? Because I just remembered, place? I remember when I go into work tomorrow on Saturday, just like every other Saturday, I'm going to see a, a couple hundred Trumpy Dumpty motherfuckers at the park around the corner from my job. And I'm going to be like, oh, yeah, OK. <laughs> OK, take it cool, calm, cool. I'm going to leave the knife right, right where it's supposed to stay. Glad we didn't bring Gertrude. Breathe. Yes. Relax. Go to work. Breathe. Stretch. Get your money. Go home. Shake. Let it liquor, go. Yes. Smoke a blunt. Go to sleep. That's my plan. Smoke a blunt. That's your plan. Go to sleep. Smoke a blunt. Go to sleep. That's, that, that's how I and have that, to do that, that every Saturday. Mantra. I have to do that every Saturday. Yeah, that's his mantra. He has to do because they are really that <laughs> close to each other. Comedian Ms. Lip said, wear garlic. I, that too. I hadn't had yeah. thought about that. That's, that is I, very important. And have a, have a vial fashion, of holy water in your pocket. I need to fashion some wooden spikes. Uh, yes. So, silver bullets. I'm holy sure. water works. And they, they think, oh, what is that? Hand sanitizer? No, motherfucker. It's holy water. And you throw it on them. Hey, and uh, so, so before we get out of here, we got 30 seconds. Uh, make sure you follow us. We'll be back on Monday, 3 p.m. Pacific yes. Standard Time, uh, Tuesday through Wednesday, 6 p.m., Friday again, 3 p.m. But uh, come back with us on Monday. If the world is still here this weekend, I hope you get through it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, man. That was dark. Um, yeah, right. and make sure you subscribe to the podcast version. That was dark as shit. Subscribe to this uh, podcast version. Um, I mean, the YouTube version, Savage AF Podcast. That's we bow. Have a good weekend.